Hey, what's to YouTube fam? It's your girl TK and I am at home vlogging, darling. And today I really wanted to get online and talk to you guys about King Charles. Okay, we're going to be talking debt and we're going to be talking the U.S. Constitution. So I am hoping you are prepared for this conversation because it may be a hard pill to swallow. I mean, it really might be. But you know, this conversation must go on. Now, today I am going to start with the statement of facts. Now, the facts are that a sovereign estate was created not only for the United States, but the United Kingdom. Now, I'm sure at this point you're like, what are you talking about, TK? Well, I want you guys to note that when I was a federal employee, I was alleging that prohibited personnel practices occurred to me. Now, if you guys don't know what prohibited personnel practices are, it basically means a law, rule, or regulation has been violated and no one wanted to remedy the situation. I mean, I would go to lead, supervisor, executive leadership, and no one wanted to do anything regarding this situation. As a matter of fact, I ended up being terminated even after I was taking my cases to court and I had all my facts outlined all the way to the T but with that termination it happened to have well what really happened was a separation in power which created a sovereign and state now with that sovereign of state being created I want you guys to understand something there was treasonous acts that were going to be occurring the first thing I want you guys to know is May 6th coronation that happened with King Charles this man basically you know declared himself the reigning king of the United Kingdom when in reality he knows that the only person in his you know line his family line that was the reigning was the queen, which is Queen Elizabeth. This woman, her contributions to society will never be dismissed. She was the reigning queen for over 70 plus years. I mean, oh my gosh, you can just hear the stories and everything that people have said about her and her importance to the United Kingdom. Now, I want you guys to also note something. Um, Once the queen... Queen Elizabeth died, there was a separation of power that already existed. And that separation of power was me, Tanya Knowles. Now, I want you guys to have a better clarity of what I am trying to say and how, you know, you may question, what the fudge do you mean a sovereign was created not for the United States, but the United Kingdom? Well, I want you guys to know that the Bill of Rights is what attaches the United States and the United Kingdom as one. So if you guys aren't aware, the United Kingdom is a part of a constitutional monarchy. Yes, so they have to follow the constitution of the United States as well. So whatever happens in the United States also directly impacts the United Kingdom. Now, one of the things that I want you guys to understand is the 14th Amendment. I think it's very, un, um, it's very important, excuse me. And it also provides you guys with some clarity. Now, what I am doing right now is I'm looking down at my fridge and phone and I'm trying to pull up my community tab. And if you guys aren't on my uh, YouTube channel, you definitely should check out my YouTube channel because I'm telling you, it has so much information that you can use. So I'm going to my community tab and I am going to look up this information regarding the 14th, uh, excuse me, the 14th Amendment. And I'm going to read it to you guys. And here it says, according to the 14th Amendment, Section 4, neither the United States nor any state shall assume or pay any debt or obligation occurred in aid of an, of an insurrection or rebellion against the United States or any claim for the loss of emancipation of any slave, but all such debts, obligations, and claims shall be held illegal and void. I want you guys to understand something. My brown skin is not a slave. Slavery has been abolished, and it has been written in the U.S. Constitution. So the only thing that we can be looking at is an insurrection and the failure to properly transfer over power. Now, I want you guys to know that not only is uh, King Charles, you know, being a part of this insurrection, but Joe Biden as well as Donald Trump, Donald, excuse me, Donald Trump with January 6th insurrection, Joe Biden giving his oath and allegiance to NATO, you know, and also Ukraine and giving them all this money knowing damn well he's in debt. 
as well as King Charles with his failure to transfer over power. You know, knowing that there is a sovereign that has been created. Anyhow, guys, I want you guys to know that this information is available. This information that I am citing is not no he say, she say type of information. This uh, information, excuse me, can be, excuse me, this information can be read from the U.S. Constitution. All you have to do is go to the 14th Amendment, Section 4. It is so imperative. Guys, it is so imperative to pay attention to laws, rules, and regulations because you don't know when, where, and or how it might impact you. Now, I want you guys to know I'm about to get up. I have tried to make this video for the 11th, 12th, 15th time, and it took me over and over and over and over again of trying and not trying to uh, uh, mess up. <laughs> But, you know, it is what it is. I am going to upload this video, and even if I messed up, it's going up, okay? Now, I want you guys to know that my Instagram is available for you. If you are interested, you can go to my Instagram at T-K-K-N-O-W-L-E-S-0-1. Peace, love, and happiness, guys. Stay safe. Stay blessed. Remember always, it is so imperative to not only pay attention to laws, rules, and regulations, pay attention to your poli uh, political leaders as well as the celebrities that you follow because you don't know when, where, and or how these rules that they are embracing may impact you. Bye, guys.